five reasons why the crypto bull market is not over yet. So guys, I want to talk about it. Yes, we've had an absolute upheaval of a week. It's been bloody. It's been awful. Many, many new comers to the market have been shaken out of their positions. And honestly, it's been quite a rough ride for the majority of retail investors out there. So I want to talk about five reasons as to why I personally just do not think this is the end of the show. And maybe there's actually a sixth reason too, but I'm just going to talk about five for now. And the first reason is the market capital charts here, the overall valuation of blockchain that is every single segment of crypto, meme coins, layer ones, utility, play to earn, you know, the whole lot put together, the overall valuation of blockchain today. And we can see, just looking at this chart, I don't know if you can see because my head's usually in the way, but um, we're valued right now at $2 trillion. We recently topped out at like $2.72 trillion. However, we did not yet defeat the previous blockchain all-time high of $2.82 trillion, which happened in 2021. And to me, it just does not make sense if we do not break that previous all-time high. It would just seem like a catastrophic failure. It would just kind of reflect that blockchain is just a joke if it cannot outperform a previous market cycle. It would just make no sense, especially with so much more money now in the crypto space, whether it be institutional money, global adoption, banks, retailers, just total value locked into protocols, and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of new crypto projects. It just wouldn't make sense right now. So I do think this is potentially just a pullback. Reason number two is the overall corrective state of the market. When we look at the correction here, for Bitcoin, we can see this is just, you know, 27% correction. People from 2017, people from 2020 and 2021 are laughing at this particular correction because <laughs> this is nothing, ladies and gents. This is not a big correction at all. And at the end of the day, Bitcoin could indeed correct 40%. It could drop down to $43,000 and I would still be perfectly fine with that number. Why is this important? The fact that Bitcoin has only corrected like, you know, 26% and it's even bouncing a little bit. Well, if we go back in time, we can see in 2021, we had a 55% correction. Then actually following this large correction, Bitcoin placed an all-time high. But if we go back in time, even further, this is where things are very interesting. Even though every cycle is different, Bitcoin was previously correcting 40, 30, you know, 32, 35% frequently. We saw frequent large volatile corrections all the way up to the top until, you know, poof, that was it. Um, so reason number two, we have not really seen many big 30 or 40% corrections this cycle. Maybe it's just different this time. But for me, I still think we've not had a major, major shakeout and correction yet since sort of 2022, really. Um, it's been very, very strong. The markets are really looking strong still, even at 56K. Um, reason number three will be the logarithmic regression band here on the BLX chart. So we're on the weekly time frame. And if we go back to every other cycle, Bitcoin has tapped into the very top of the logarithmic regression into the actual um, the median line there. And you can see even last time in 2017, it went right to the top of that logarithmic regression band, as you can see, really right to the top. And then 2020, again, sitting at the top. And this reflects peak euphoria, overbought, loads of greed in the market, and you know, ideally a time to be selling. This time around, we've not even got close to this um, kind of middle line here. And if we did, I would expect to see this average out like that. Then you can also assume this average is out like this. And, you know, the logarithmic is constantly increasing on its average. But I still think, you know, if we're going to get there, depending on when it happens, we're still looking at a good 100 to 110K here for Bitcoin. If Bitcoin actually does the crazy thing and then goes up to this region here, like, you know, higher, like it did last time around, this is reason number three, of course, then we're looking at even $140,000. So if this chart can, you know, reflect the same results as every other single cycle so far, which it has indeed gone to the tip of the logarithmic regression, the only time it didn't really was 2013. It did this, you know, even going back to 2011. It did it even way before, even in 2010. And, you know, the green is the area effectively where you do accumulate these, um, you know, Bitcoin and stuff like that. 
every single time. If you buy Bitcoin in the green ribbon, you basically become freaking rich. Not financial advice, but so far, if you buy in the green, you're not really going to lose that much money. Um, in fact, you're in a perfect place for holding. So that's reason number three. Reason number four is the rainbow chart, even though not the best indicator. Uh, we're still very much in the sort of fire sale buy and accumulation sort of zone on this rainbow chart. We haven't hit hodl. We haven't hit is this a bubble? We haven't hit the FOMO intensifies or even the sell indicator just yet. Reason number five, probably also a very important one, is the relative strength index here for Bitcoin. When Bitcoin is in a true bear market and things are all over, the RSI can drop down as low as 30. Right now, we're still holding quite strong at 46 on the RSI, which does reflect neutral um, sort of buying and selling pressure. As long as we don't go down to this 30 region, I would think we're certainly still not in a you know bear market and the bull market is not over. Also, the RSI tends to come up very high during bullish scenarios so this could be a pullback um, you know we've not been here since September 2023 and if we look at this green line this is exactly where September 2023 was where the price was sitting at um, was it $25,000 so the RSI has already come down once before from euphoric regions what I mean by that is in February 2023 it hit 70 RSI and then came down to 46 and okay we have hit 87 which is really high and that's come down back to 46 um so i i personally just believe that it's not over just based on also the rsi that we're looking at right here the relative strength index um and it's probably something good to look at in, in a way i mean the correction before from this blue line to this bottom was 20 percent. again that's not a lot so that's reason number five there ladies and gents and i just personally have a gut feeling i don't think this market is over it's the summer it's a lull if you look at the bitcoin monthly returns june july august are usually terrible months september is usually quite boring and not that great either but october is really that bullish one and as well as november as well um if you guys are looking to make some big gains in the crypto markets please do consider signing up to become a patron and we've already got 16 crypto legend slots remaining and overall if you want to become a crypto legend this is going to allow you to unlock all of the trading signals in the discord all of those juicy early alpha calls you're going to get leverage signals spot signals there's only 16 slots remaining so if you do want to unlock that check out the patreon it's linked down below join the discord it's definitely worth doing and um, also sign up to ksex down below if you want to get trading with KSX, no KYC required. You can trade fully anonymously in America, in Canada, across the world. You can withdraw Bitcoin without having to KYC, which means giving up your identity, allowing these third parties to capitalize and make money on your precious data. And of course, anonymity is a huge thing in the blockchain space. We've been blessed with this immutable storage. And it's kind of annoying when you see all of the, you know, the regulations come in and strip away that decentralized feeling. So that's why I want to push that particular exchange because I do believe that privacy is a very important thing. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, guys. Remember, this isn't financial advice, but there's five reasons why I think the crypto bull market is not over. See you soon.